Hey guys, welcome back. We're on episode three of this playthrough. I think we're about to hop back into our first Dark Arts mission. Um, and was it Charms mission or something like that? Something along those lines. Um, I'm super excited. It's super, super hot for this game. As you can see, uh, Hufflepuff, still, still level one. But we're going to hop right back into it. Um, and... Yeah, enjoy. Uh, also, I'm working on getting the music volume just right. This game's music just seems to be like so loud. So, uh, we'll we'll work through it. But all right, here we go. Also, like I said, my cat Marsh is running around. Sorry for the reflection. My cat Marsh is running around somewhere in here. If he hops up in here, just bear with me. Ah, oh, this game is so beautiful. Answer me this! Today, I received a letter thanking me for a conversation I never had, and a purchase I never made! Oh. Revelio. Wait, how do we grab that? How do we get 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 that? How do we do that? Where? Revelio. Okay, I don't know how to get that. Ooh. I don't understand. Also, uh, I've been experiencing some issues with this game black screening. Every time I open it on uh, Steam, it'll sit there and give me the like seizure warnings and stuff, and then it will black screen forever. I don't really know why. Let's see if I can grab it. Oh, no. Okay. Um, but I think we got it worked out. I think you just got to let it load. So if any of you run into that problem, that's why. Okay, enough talking. Let's do this. Okay. Revelio. I know there was a chest. Oh, the chest is in that room. Okay. Huh. Interesting. There's a lot of secrets in this game that I look forward to. I mean, this is just... I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you couldn't really ask for much more. Um, like I said, I'm going to be taking my time through. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. There's a timer. Like I said, I'm going to be taking my time through this game as well. Absolutely no rush. Um, let's explore a little bit. Oh, look at that. This is going to be a gorgeous game. Got. Yeah. Bombard. Soul. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Let's do it.
Leviosa. <laughs> Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let's do it. Keep out the Let us on. begin with a basic cast. Okay. Let's do it. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yeah, I did. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember. Levioso! Good! Well done! Okay. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time ah. for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. Let's do it. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing lucky about it. Yeah. Can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Levioso. I do enjoy a life hey. duel. You're good. Levios. Now perspective. Oh. Only all my students with a step. Oh, the oh. Use the basic oh. cast when your opponent's guard is down. Is he disqualified? Not bad for a beginner. You just got your ass beat. You give as good as you get. Okay. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Oh. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Absolutely. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Fantastic. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Lumos. Not Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Is there anything in this room? What's the, what's the treasure chest again? Ooh. Level 2 lock? Okay. So. Something to speak with this guy, so. I'll speak with him. Sebastian. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Oh, thank you. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive huh. and unsanctioned. <laughs> Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. 
if you're interested. <laughs> Till next time. This is what I'm gonna love about this game. Like, an under the radar, uh, dark arts kind of type, Slytherin, getting to know stuff we probably shouldn't, doing things we probably shouldn't, having duels we probably shouldn't. Breaking the rules is a key part. You can put your nose in the books, be a good student all day, but unless you're willing to test the boundaries, you truly don't know what you're capable of. And I don't know what this is. I don't know I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Um, Revelio. I'm not sure what this chest is. I really am. But what do you say we go to our charms class? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <laughs> okay. Now, let's go to charm class. Uh, this game. So gorgeous. <laughs> you see that? Levy <laughs> <laughs> Kitty cat! Let's get a, let's get us a screenshot. Let's get a cat. Ha 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 ha. That was a funny, funny sound. Okay. Let's get to class. We're out here petting cats, doing Leviosa. Oh man. Oh, I want to explore. Uh, let's just get through this this first day of classes. This Professor Ronan class. tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Okay. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. So we don't like him. Let's do this. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Let's go. Back to basic one. Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Okay. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Where we at? We're here? Yeah? Yeah? There you go. Sweet. Got our three key right here. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion 
outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Yes. Let's do it. We finally get to go outside. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. The deeper we go, the more interesting it gets, of course. And <sighs> Leviosa. Let's do it. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Yes. Accio, I could keep talking about excellent control. Not to uh. worry. Very good. Oh! Don't lose your composure. Splendid. So too much. Ah! Oh. To the best of us. Dang. I suck. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. All right. But there's certainly <laughs> no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Let's do it. You'll be the you. blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Clear. Yes, sir. Let's do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I gotta do this to you. Watch the. That is how it's done. Not bad. Huh. Akio. Time for us to eat. Aha! Excellent. Here we go. Oh. How am I supposed to compete? There we go. All right. Here we go. Oh, stay on. Brilliant. I'm balling. I'm balling. Let's do this. Is she gonna get 50? She gets 50. Okay. Alright, cool. Yes! I don't know if I can do it, but. You know. Akio! Oh, don't fall off! Ah! Stay focused! Wow. Dang. I'm a loser. I lose. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let's do it. Watch this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She get 30 again? She gets 30 off the rip? Okay. So. Phew. This is what we are going to do. Go ahead. Come across. Akio! V! Stay on the court! Let's go. Nice. Very good! Here we go! Okay, so you can hit the ball. That, that is a thing. Let's do it. Ow. Oh, who stayed on? Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Be sharp. 
Get out my way, Professor! What does she get? Does she go for 50? No, oh, she stays at 30. Oh. Oh. No. That she is how it's it. done. So, basically, all you gotta do is not mess up here. Let's do it. You ready? Akio! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, and we get the 50, I believe. A perfect score! Remarkable. Let's go. Hey, good games. Jeez. Very good, both of you. Well done. That was actually pretty fun. I really like it whenever they start adding objects and it kind of gets more uh, difficult. You kind of got to time stuff better. Um, but I think I got it down there at the very end. A good game. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, that was you fun. can use Akio on she's humans. A, she's a transfer student if you're as well, so just like us. Well, uh, you'd be using it on clothing, wow. to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Let's go talk to Professor. A word, Ronan. if you would. Sure. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. Let's complete the charms class. So we have just completed our first dark arts class and our first charms class. Uh, I think I'm going to end episode 3 here. Um, next episode, we'll see what they have for us. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in again. And this game is fun.